Our application will be built using object-oriented programming, object-oriented PHP programming. What that means is that all of the functions will be stored within its specific class, which is uh, also called object. So let's say we have basket as an object, we have business as an object, we have catalog as an object, we have countries as an object, and so on. So every single element of the of the application will be in uh, within its own uh, class. But I'll explain a little bit later on. Now let's just start with uh, typing inside of our index.php, opening PHP tag and require once function to include one of our files. And we will be including a file which we create in just a minute. Uh, and it will be inside of the inc folder and it will be called autoload.php. Okay, now if we copy the name of the file, create a new folder inside of the uh, root directory of our site called inc. And inside of this folder, let's create a new file called autoload.php. Inside of the autoload.php, if we open the PHP tag and start typing function, two underscores autoload. And this function takes one parameter, which will be class name. Inside of this function, first thing we're going to do is we will explode our parameter and put it into array. So class as a variable, which will become an array uh, and function explode. And we will be exploding our parameter using underscore, then comma, and the name of our parameter, which is a class name. Now what it basically does, it uses underscores to divide any sort of class name, which we're gonna uh, be passing into autoload function and put all these elements divided by this underscore into array. So let's say we have name like front controller, then front will be the first element of the array, controller will be the second one because they are concatenated with this underscore, which is used here as a divider. After this, we will create a path variable equals now function implode, which is the opposite of explode. Implode will concatenate the string, uh, concatenate uh, the array. Uh, and as a concatenator, we will use the forward slash and we'll use our array, which is a class, dot and dot PHP extension right at the end. This way, let's say we have, as previously used, front controller, then front would be used as the output of the path would be front forward slash controller dot PHP. That means we go to the front folder and we're looking for the controller.php file. So this is basically what path variable will look like. Now require once again, and this time we simply require our path. So that's everything here. Now we can obviously remove this text holder here as well. Now that we have our autoload ready, it's going to be time to uh, move to our config.php file. And that's in the next video.